What's up, guys? Uh oh. What the? <laughs> Thank you guys for buying cookies. Oh, they turned out good. She sold a total of like 4,500 boxes so far. That's pretty good. Let's just let's just say she has four. She has three teammates. Four total teammates. Team of four and. The other three teammates averaged 300 boxes so far. For a little girl selling 300 boxes of cookies is a lot. For just a little girl. You know what I mean? So the fact that <laughs> she sold 4,500 boxes is, is ridiculous. It's not even for a kid. I looked it up. I was like, who's the most, who sold the most cookies? And this girl from Sacramento, like, broke the world record, um, for, like, Brandon, thank you so much for five. She sold, like, 35,000 boxes or something. Broke the record. Can you imagine? What the fuck? It's a lot. That's 32,000 in cookies? Huh? Oath taker, do, do you know how to do math? 35,000 boxes. Is not 32,000 cookies. There's like six cookies to seven cookies to ten, ten cookies in each box. What are you talking about? That's like 32,000 cookies with a bite out of each of them. Oh, you're talking about the, the, the money? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about money, okay. Okay. I thought you were talking about cook. how many cookies were in the box. My bad. My bad, bro. You're right. I was right and you were right. Cause the way you said it, it seemed like you're talking about cause I was I was talking about I don't know, man. I don't know. I thought we were talking about how many cookies were in there. My fault. Yeah, it's a lot. She sold a lot, yes. Oh, it's because I was talking about the girl that sold Okay, okay. I was talking about the girl that sold 35,000 boxes worth of cookies. And then right when I said that, you said, that's 32,000. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. You're talking about something else. I get it. Some of my old streams where I'm standing up screaming, I saw a video of it. I, dude, <laughs> where I'm like, he's got big ears over here. Just I just looked at it earlier. And it was pretty funny. I was laughing. What in the fuck? That was when the pandemic, we were in the middle of the pandemic. No, 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 no. Finally, I won a fucking gunfight. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking guy with a stupid rocket launcher. What a COVID fuck is is literally bad for singers. I did not sound good. Trust me. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I on my worst day, I sound better than most. <laughs> on, on my worst day, I sound better than most. That's because I sing in key mostly. I think that's the most important thing is to sing in key, and that's a natural thing for me. But um, I just the the COVID made me to where. I couldn't hit like the highest notes. It bothered me. I'm not sick. 
I'm talking about on tour when I was on tour. Thanks, man. Unforgivable gangsters, thank you. Hell yeah. This dude jumped. He did. Oh no. I knew it. I knew it. I shouldn't stay there for too long. Just your screen, bro. There. Hey, man, is it just my screen here? Why is there so? Oh. No! 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 Oh my god! I missed. I, I died because I missed. I, mi I, I missed my shots <laughs> straight up. I just I don't play this that much anymore. Hey. Bro. 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 Let's do this. Yeah, I hate solo. So much. Hey, Marie. Thank you. Bad. This guy's cheating. What? Are you ever going to play Bad Girls Club? Bad Girls Club is like for me is like MGK's emo girl for him. MGK just doesn't realize it yet. <laughs> I don't think he does actually. So when I say I don't like an emo girl, the song or something, I can only I can only roast as, as much as I can as much as possible before it comes to before I come to the realization that, you know, I too have cringy songs. We all do. We all have cringy songs. Bands do. That's a part of not taking yourself too seriously, I think. Some bands don't they don't think they have cringy songs. That's because they took themselves too serious their entire career. And it got them um you know, what do you, how would I say this in a diplomatic way without the the bands that take themselves too serious, it, they're two dimensional. Not three dimensional, let's put it like that. Or four dimensional. There's two sides to their coin instead of like fucking four sides, you know? The funny songs, the, the sad songs, the fucking the serious songs, the tough, you know, the gnarly songs. Yeah, there's emotional songs, all that. Your cringy songs are my favorite, but then again, I'm a teenage girl. <laughs> you know what I say about that? You're, you're a teenage girl, but you're going to grow up to be an adult sooner than you think and then you'll have the songs that aren't as cringy to listen to which is good for me if 
I had all cringy songs and never evolved, and then all my fans would have grown up and stopped listening to me. Because they'd be like, I can't listen to this anymore. It's, it sounds like fucking for, made for a kid or something. You know what I mean? So thankfully, thankfully I was smart enough to fucking progress and stuff. You know? Some bands aren't. Some bands continue to write the same songs. Like, imagine a 45-year-old fucking... Some guys do this. But like a 45-year-old metalhead listening to Bad Girls Club. What the fuck happened? What? Bro, I don't understand this game, man. The culture war? I'm not being held back, bro. I just sold out the Hollywood Palladium, bro. Trust me, I'm not being held back. I'm at the top of all the festival ad mats. I'm not being held back at all. I don't want to be. I don't want to be mainstream, like fucking MTV Music Awards famous. That shit is whack. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be on the red carpets, and I, I don't want. I don't like that shit. If I wanted to do all that, I could do that. What the f bro? I need a I need a team, dude. I need a team. I need a team. I can't play solos. No, I'm just saying I'm not like that. I don't like the fucking mainstream paparazzi fame being famous is more important than the music or equally as important that kind of stuff. I don't like that. I don't like I don't like that vibe. I like when people make trend my song trends on TikTok. Look at look at the rapper NF, dude. He plays arenas, big ass venues. Um, he plays big ass venues and he's never talked about. Nobody ever talks about him in the media. He's not on the red carpets. He just wears what I wear, black black shirts, black clothes, hoodies. You know, plays arenas. Literally plays arenas. Sells out big arenas. Nobody ever talks about him. That's cool. I like that. Just goes to show you that all that other shit's fucking nonsense. The Hollywood bullshit, being on the red carpet and fucking being seen with other celebrities and all that shit. That shit's all fucking, I've already done all that. Like, I lived in LA for 12 years. I've already experienced all that. This shit is not all it's cracked up to be. It's shit's whack. I never liked it. I did it anyways. Every time I did it, I'd be like, I don't like this. Yeah, I, Dave, you, you mean um like the culture is like fabricated rock music. I know what you're saying. Like the emo, trap emo rocker shit. I know what you mean. Instead of like actual rock music or, you know, I know what you're, I know what you're saying. Instead of like, like real rock, rock and roll, like actual music song, like the band's actually writing the music. They're not having someone else write their music for them. The genuine artists that write music is not in the, is not like huge. It's more like the fucking pop, I, I know what you're saying. I can't even explain it correctly, but yes, that's what you mean. I don't care about that. As long as my albums sell, stream, that's all I care about when it, you know, and I'll keep doing it. Just want to make sure the albums stream and sell. That means that the fans like it. If they don't sell and stream, then that means the fans don't like it. But then again, I'm not going to make some music that I don't like just to get some streams. I'll tell you that. I think that's what a lot of those people are doing. I don't do as many features on my tracks because uh, it's not as special when there's when I do a lot of features. That's why the only features you see is fucking Corey Taylor. You know, who are you featuring? Co literally, Corey Taylor. Follow me, Ramon Romance. Zombified has over 6 million views on YouTube. It's been out for four weeks or whatever, a month and a half. 6 million views, that's fucking awesome for a rock band. It's number seven on the, on the radio right now. This is the problem. I'm not, I'm not attacking you, but I want to, you're making me, you're giving me a good thing to talk about. We always wish we, we had more or there should be more. We feel like something deserves more. Why can't you just be happy with 6 million? You can't be happy that it has 6 million. You think it needs more? You're always going to want more no matter what. Just never think of it like that. Do you be thankful? 6 million is a lot. There's not a lot of rock bands. We just passed bring me the horizons newest song that came out three months before them. Before, before my, that song, that Die For You on there, they're a huge fan. 
Look at it like that. Not everybody could be Drake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not everybody could be Drake. You gotta be content with where you are and at the same time not be content. I know what you mean though. Everybody always wants more. You, you don't have to, you have to be grateful for what you got first and foremost, right? You're like, man, I went on YouTube and Zombified. That song that came out a month ago only has six and a half million views on it. It's like, what, you know, that's huge. It's fucking, that's a lot. What are you talking about, dude? It's a lot. a lot of that's a lot of views you know people that get more views than that are literal rappers taylor swift and you know what i mean you know where i'm going but other than that that's fucking huge man justin bieber exactly yeah 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 because they have a global, they have a, more of a global impact. So it's like. I mean, I know, I know if I was, it, if I tried a little harder, I know my, my band would be a little bigger. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. My band would probably be a lot bigger if I tried harder to be in the mainstream. There's a lot of things that I've turned down. That if I didn't, my band would probably be more recognized. But as long as I'm happy, because some things I turn down, I don't like, I don't want to do, like reality shows and that kind of shit. Me for president? You imagine, imagine me fucking. <laughs> if I was president, I'm not even gonna say that. Oh man. No, no, no. Not saying that. You saw that shooting? I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid! I love the weekend's vibe too. Bro, I can't, I can't play by my, I need, I need a, we need a squad. This solo shit's got me. <sighs> Do I have 158 subs already? I just looked up, looked at the fuck. Thank you guys. There was a change after popular monster for sure. I exploded. I'm in, I'm in a different bracket now. I noticed with my merch sales and I noticed with. Um, my merch sales and I noticed with my ticket sales, I, I noticed a lot of, of the different age demographics at my New York show, rock and Ramona. Thank you. At my New York show, I had so many different races in the crowd. It was so crazy. You had like this, you know, redneck dude look like a Trump supporter. Then you had right next to him, this black dude that was like punk rock. Then you had in the meet and greet of that, you had this black man that was older that was a fan of nothing but hip-hop that brought his daughter that loved me was like hey man i'm a huge fan of hip-hop but i like you i was like let's go dude this is a this is a phenomenon happening right now i was like god this is sick this is cool that means you know what that means that means a sign that the band can go down as legendary because now you're you're getting a, a certain demographic for so many years then you've expanded to multicultural graphic uh, demographics wild it's cool I guess that's what happens when you do different kinds of music and put it together though yeah but you had you had mexicans there it, it in the meet and greet alone it was it made me realize a lot i was like dude there's so many people from different walks of life standing in this meet and greet right now dude this is so sick